Hello everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to my Minecraft channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Minecraft barn tour of a barn that I've been working on for a really long time. Um, this barn I've been working on for probably, oh I don't know, probably four or five months now, maybe six months. So it's been a huge work in progress and the barn is still not even done. I've done a little bit of some more work on it recently, and um, I still want to add a couple of things to this barn, but this barn is really big, so let's get started with the barn tour. So first off, here's our sign, Welcome to Mystic Valley Equestrian Center, and if you have been with me um, for a while, you might recognize this barn, um, as I did videos on this barn uh on my previous minecraft channel so you might recognize it if you've been with me for a while um but i just wanted to do another barn tour on this because it's to this day one of my favorite barns so here's the sign and then next to it we have a little bench here and then this way leads to our cross country course which i will get to in a little bit So right here is our first mare pasture. So we have three mares in here. And I'm not going to go through the horses' names because it'll take me forever. And I don't want to waste time on this video because it's a really big barn. So I have a mare pasture in here. And then here is the main barn. Um, yeah, it's just a main barn. It has three wings and then it has a jumping arena in the back. And then this way leads to our pastures, and then this way leads to um, another set of outdoor stalls. So we'll go through the barn first. So we have horses on each side, so we have four stalls on each side of the barn. And then over here we have our tack room and feed room, so we have our feed room here. So we have all sorts of feed along the walls, and then we have a sink over here, and then we have some supplements. And then across the way, oops, I'll have to fix that in a little bit, and across the way we have a tack room. Um, so this is a pretty small tack room, but it works for this barn. So here is my locker, ignore the name, so I have horse blankets and a bunch of other stuff in here. This one's actually not a locker. This one leads out to the garden. And then we just have an empty one here. So then we have a couch here. We have a bunch of ribbons up top. And then we have um, more tack boxes. So then over here in the back of the barn, we have more stalls on each side. So each side is identical, so we also have a wash stall, or wash bay, whatever you want to call it, in each side. So we have a sink, um, a grooming box, which has grooming supplies in it, and then a drain. And then we have three more horse stalls on this side, and it's the same thing on this side as well. So here is our jumping arena. It's pretty large. Um, it has eight jumps in it, I believe. Yeah, eight jumps in it, and um, yeah, all sorts of different jumps. Like we have a triple bar over there, we have oxers, we have a Liverpool, um, we have all sorts of things. So now I'm going to come all the way to the front of the barn again, and we're going to come over on this side. So here we have a little thing where it just like has directions on it. So here is our um, outdoor stalls. So we just have out, outdoor stalls all along here. And then here's the garden. This um, is the door to the tack room. So we just have a little resting spot here. And we have three more outdoor stalls here. And then we have this little barn that has... Um, not sure how many stalls are actually in here. I think 12. Um, so we have 12 stalls in here as well. Then over this way, there's also another path um, going in the middle of the barn and then around the other side of the barn. So here's our flat work arena or barrel racing arena. There's barrels set up in here right now. Um, so this is just a flat work slash barrel arena. And then over here we have some more wash stalls for our outdoor horses. Um, 
So it's just a pretty simple wash bay. It has a sink, a shelf, um, and then there's three of these. And then there's also a path in between here. So then right here we have our large tack room. So this is for the remainder of all the horses. Um, so we have our helmet racks over here. And we have some helmets, some name tags. Over here we have grooming supplies, supplements. And then we have um, a bunch of other stuff. And then we have our lockers for our tack room. So they're the same as the one in the barn. Then around here we have our um, paddocks, our two horse paddocks as well. So we just have um, our mares and geldings together in one pasture. So we have Mocha and Angel here and they have their feet in water back here. And we have, I think it's every other one. So we have mares, geldings, geldings, and mares. Um, on this side, and then I think it's the same on the other side as well. So we have more over here as well. And then it's right next to the arena. Then right here behind the tack room in the wash stall, we have our round pin. So we have our round pin over here. It's very small um, and not the most um, perfect circle or oval, I would say. But it does the job. And then over here is a new barn. So this barn is a work in progress still. Um, I just started working on this barn a little while ago. So it, the horses in here don't have names or anything. But um, yeah. So they have runs as well on this barn. Um, so they have little runs that they can come out here as well. So this is just this barn. And then if we go around here. In the back of the jumping arena, we have our, like, stand. So you can come and watch, um, if there's, like, a competition going on or anything like that. So we have two of these stands facing the, um, jumping arena. So I'm just going to go all the way to the front of the show barn or main barn again. And we're going to go this way. So this way has our larger pastures and some more outdoor stalls. So we have four outdoor stalls along the back of the main barn. And then we have our first pasture. So this is Geldings, I believe. Yeah, so this is our Geldings pasture. It's pretty large and it has four horses in it. Or five horses, excuse me. And then right here we have another Geldings paddock. Um, as well that has another five geldings. Then right here we have our smaller gelding paddock that has two horses in here. And then over here we have our two smaller mirror pastures. Um, so these two pastures can hold three horses. And then we have um, five outdoor stalls along the second barn. And then over here we have another paddock, and these have our two zebras in here. So we have our zebra and our resource, which is a zebra horse cross. And then we have another barn over here. Um, I don't really know how many stalls are in here. I believe five. Um, well, we have four on this side, and then this stall I turned into a hay stall, so we can store hay in here. And then there's um, five more stalls on this side as well. So then over here we have our warm-up ring. So this is our warm-up ring where if, you're, if we have a show, people can come in here and um, warm up. So we have two small verticals in here. And then there's a path that leads directly to the jumping arena. So that is pretty much the majority of the barn. And then we have trail. Oops, I did not mean to do that. We have trails as well as a cross-country course. Um, so we have our trails over here and a cross-country course over here. So I will grab um, Oasis, who is this lovely girl, and I will take her on a ride for you guys through the trails. So there's many different or er, many entrances to the trails and different pathways to the trails. 
So this is one entrance, and then this is another entrance. I like to take this entrance. And it took me forever to build this trail. So here's the little stream that we have that eventually leads to our pond. So here's like a little pond that we have and you can tie up your horses here and you can have a relaxing snack or something um, over the pond. And then we have this path which, we, which leads around the cross country course. And then we have this path which um, leads us back to the barn. And then we also, I also added a little log jump if the horse wants to take a log jump. And so I will go around a second time and go the other pathway um, that leads around the cross country course. So now I will go down this pathway. And here's another little bridge that goes over the same stream. And then here's another resting spot where you can tie up your horses and just sit if you want to relax. And then here's another little log jump if you desire to jump on the trail. This pathway is definitely longer than the other one because it leads around our cross country course. And then here is the other one that comes out next to the barrel racing arena. And now I'm going to take you guys on the cross country course which is um, super exciting. So here is the entrance, this is the starting, and then this is where it ends. So I have various jumps, most of the time the jumps are smaller. So I have this log jump here which you could honestly just step over. Another bigger log jump. More log jumps. And then here's our little water jump. And the horses can run in. It's just very um, shallow so that they can. There we go. And then here is our ditch. So this is what the ditch looks like. It's an actual ditch in the ground. And then it comes out to here. I know it's not the largest um, cross country arena, but it does the job and it just um, spices it up a little bit, um, I suppose. So now I'll give you guys an overview of the barn. It's a really large barn and it's taken me forever to work on and I still plan on adding more to it um, in the future, but here it is. This is mostly just the trails and cross country. And then we have the barn, which is very small compared to the trails. But I hope you guys enjoyed this barn tour. Um, and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye!